Hi there. Um, and so here I'm going to show you how I can go into basically my blogs and I'm going into this blog and I'm going to attach. I use Divi Builder, which I love um, for WordPress. Uh, but if you don't, the point of this video is that I'm going to show you where I download one of those Pinterest pins that I did and what I do in WordPress, my WordPress, I put it in the um, featured image section. So let me go ahead and it's thinking, sorry. Um, right now, when I first make the blog post, I use the header image in my blog post. But once I create a Pinterest pin, I'm going to go ahead and remove that featured image and I'm going to select a Pinterest pin because it's easier to pin to things. And it actually, even if you use it to post on Facebook or post the link somewhere else, um, the image that it pulls will be the image you created for Pinterest, um, which has the title. So people see very clearly not just the image, but what it's about, right? So I'm going to update to my blog section. Um, all the images or one of the images that I downloaded and created in Canva. And um, I think for this, I'm going to probably use this one. And this one says wedding in Lake Tahoe. I think that's going to get a lot of pins. So that's the first one I want to do. And as I told you, when you save to Canva, it shows you, it, it automatically names it two, three, four, five, etc. And then I put in my wedding photography um, name because I want to have, um, when you're in Google, the image title, the image alt text, and the image description all get ranked to rank you higher for Google. So the more verbiage you use about the blog post, the more visits you're going to get to that blog post. So I just um, copy and paste it in to make it quick. But this one down here, I'm going to take off Jen Vasquez photography and put it first. So it's a little bit different. And then this one, I'm going to say um, real wedding in Lake Tahoe. So if people search for real weddings in Lake Tahoe, they're going to see that. And actually on this one, I'm going to probably um, put on this one, I'm going to probably put um, Lake Tahoe wedding by Jen Vasquez photography. So I want to change what the names, the alt text, the title, and the description are for that image so that when it uploads here, um, it's going to carry that information in Google, which will get you more discoverable. And then at the very end of my blog post for my blog um, that I do for weddings, I include a ton of images that I create with blog stomp. That's another video for another day. But at the very end of everything, I am, I add the Pinterest and another Pinterest pin, a different Pinterest pin. People may not get down to the bottom of the blog and that doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is that, um, I have it in here. So when I pin with tailwind, which is a whole nother video for another day, um, I'll show you how it pulls. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. Um, I'm probably going to use a white one and the wedding party. So let's do that one. And for this one, it says wedding party in the snow. Um, and so for this one, and again, it pulled that same name of the first one you created with all the different numbers. So on this part, this one, I'm going to put Jen Vasquez photography. As I did before, I'm copying it, I'm pasting it, paste, uh, pasting it in alt text. If I'm in a hurry, I'll just leave it like that. But since I'm showing you how some of my blogs get 
the most traffic, this is how it happens. So um, I'm going to put, I'm naming this one Wedding in Incline Village. And by Jen Vasquez Photography. And then this one I'm going to name, um, um, win, uh, let's see, the Chateau at Incline Village Wedding. Bye. And I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to probably say, so what I'm doing in terms of creating these is creating words that people search. So the venue is in is um, the chateau at Inkine Village. So if I were a bride and I wanted to see weddings that happened at at the chateau at Inkline Village, um, I I would search for wedding chateau the the chateau at Inkline Village. They very specifically are called the Chateau at Incline Village. Um, and then this way I have multiple different ways that they can search. And then I'm gonna upload that. Um, I make for the for Pinterest, um, I mean for my blog post, I center it, which is what I just did. And in design, I also size it smaller because I don't want it to be all the way across the page. I don't think that's very pretty. Um, so let me go ahead and update this for you so that you can go ahead and see what it looks like. Sorry, my dog's snoring in the background. Uh, come on. And then I will go ahead and preview changes just so that you can see what it looks like. And I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom since there's a ton of images. Their wedding was on the Super Bowl with the 49ers in 2020 uh, this year on February 2nd. So they all wore 49er gear after the reception, which was fun. Um, whoops. And so now let me come down here and here it is. So I made it smaller. If I kept it at the regular size and I didn't resize it, then it would be huge. And I don't want it huge on here. Right. Um, and so that's that. And in another video, I will show you how I use Tailwind to post all of this stuff.